Everybody, welcome back on board the 737. Yes, this does look like a very normal flight here above the skies of Los Angeles. Everything seems well. But when we look into the cockpit, we notice, oh, oh, we've got a big problem right here. We've got a fuel alert. I mean, we can just master caution it away. <laughs> we can check the fuel levels here, right in here in the... Um, center screen at 500 pounds per wing of fuel left how much flight time does that give us oh no six minutes left of flight time yes everybody we need to refuel this plane very desperately i mean the boring way to do that is to just go ahead and land somewhere i mean we're in los angeles there should be an airport nearby we could just land and refuel but that would be too boring i want to try something we know from the military land aerial refueling i want to try getting refueled by another aeroplane now aerial refueling we've done definitely on the channel before here in x-plane 11 the old one there's even a refueling mission here be advised you will now try to fly the refueling probe of your airplane to within a few feet of the probe on the refueler craft and hold it in there yes Romano, we've been able to actually uh, refuel our f4 phantom here in the flight simulator x-plane but this is a you know fighter jet we see this every day you know not too long ago at oshkosh we visited a real KC tanker. Of course, the KC-135. Let's take a thorough look. I want to really genuinely try to refuel a normal airliner like a 737. So it is time for modification time. Here we are in the plane maker. Everything's looking good here. We've got our 737 indeed. It's time to add a refueling probe. Let's go and zoom in for that here. Yeah. We need, of course, add that here to the nose of the airplane. Mm -hmm. Now, here it is, everybody. This is what I'm looking for. This is a good refueling probe right here that we can just put onto the nose kind of like a unicorn looking plane i'm just gonna do that right there everybody this is such good uh plane making all right put that right here i think that actually pretty much works it is a very unicorn looking plane we've got a proper unicorn let's check this out pretty nice looking now we need to actually add the functionality to the, to the probe too so that it can actually work and it is right here we can just see it there you have this little ball here and this actually defines the dock of the plane there we go this works has aerial refueling receiver let's save this now and now we actually have a working 73 that can be refueled in midair just like the air force one can i think and here we are on board our special 737 right here yes very unicorn you can already see and we already are following a c-130 tanker this one has a basket method we're about to see that we already have our fuel warning here in our system all right now something i'm now doing is following this plane very closely in order to actually get this basket now something we have to do of course is match its speeds if we can just pull up the map right here we can see the c-130 is going to 305 true ground speed knots and we are going 280 we're a bit too slow let's go and speed up right there and catch up with this propeller plane so that it can refuel us now we might want to go a little bit low on the engines though because we're about to run out of fuel which makes it more interesting well, let's make it a little more interesting right now let's make it let's get like what is it three minutes of fuel left okay now i haven't really been this concentrated in my entire life Re aerial refueling is incredibly hard especially in the flight simulator yeah 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 yeah, yeah. looking good it's really important to map speeds right there that's pretty much all i'm doing now all right there it is our basket yeah, come on come on getting real close here gotta get a bit closer now in order for fuel transfer to actually work uh, maybe a bit closer it's not working we're, we're very close running out of fuel it's not i'm very uncomfortable flying here now this thing's gonna about to turn into a glider oh yeah it's filling it's filling up it's filling up it's filling up i just got a whole position i've got a whole ah no, 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 All right. Yeah, the fuel warning has actually gone away, too. All right, we are generally fueling up our beautiful 737. This is exactly what I wanted to see. This technically works. I mean, to actually draw a conclusion right here, this works, but this is not, not big news. I mean, there is in real life been planes that have been converted to, you know, being able to receive fuel in midair. All military conversions. But like, I mean, this is carrying an American livery. So, right, this is truly another day saved here. Refueling, that just and leave work. Let me try another plane. I mean, I can think of like a bigger plane here. Maybe this big, big old girl here. 704, 7400. And then we can try generally uh, to put this like zero fuel here now too. Hey, you go. What is this? Eight minutes of flight time left. Yeah. And we do have a big issue now. We don't want to land. We want to continue our flight very air transit kind of thing so come on come on let's get into the plane maker i've already uh, got the probe set up there check this out this is looking real nice go ahead and now add the port here there we go yeah that already looks 
pretty good. We can adjust the position. Yeah, that looks fine enough. I think we can try out our little new uh, feature. Save the plane. And here we are. We can already see. Come on, where's our special probe? There it is. We can already see it. We can't really see it from outside the cockpit, though, which can be a little bit... Ah, oh, there it is. I, okay, I guess the first officer will then have to uh, control the plane. That's pretty funny. Right, there's a little fuel refueling probe. So it might be time now to actually spawn once again into our mission. Let me try a boom arm. All right, there we go. Now, 737 following uh, KC... Uh, oh, KC-10. All right, there, why is it going up so much? Oh, God, why is it doing that maneuver for? Oh, it's going full vertical. All right, 747... I what is it doing? All right, come on, level out. Please level out for me. Now, there you go. Tracking the KC-10 extender with its speed. It is about to stall out. It's very funny. It's going in for vertical once again. It's like doing dolphin dance with us. Why are we doing... Why are we even following it? All right, KC-10 extender, I guess, are not proper for the job today. I guess let's try the basket method once again. C-130. Works well. Alright, there you go. My only job now is to really follow the C-130 because we're running out of fuel. We're very desperate. Yeah, the queen of the skies is truly following the C-130. You know with this, you really have to be patient because you don't want to be too fast and overshoot it. Uh, go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Approaching our savior. Is the landing gear down? Go here, go here, go here. All right, just click in there. It's filling up. 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 It's generally working. It's working now. It is working. Refueling. Oh, you have to stay so concentrated. I probably wouldn't be a very good fighter pilot. I guess it works. That's our mission. And there we go. We've even got, we've got like a proper amount of fuel left. I mean, okay, we could make this a bit challenging by like very much reducing our fuel here. Let's give it to like 707 kilograms. We're pretty much on the brinks of running out. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right. Please don't run out of fuel. C-130, you have to help us out a little bit, man. The queen's struggling. Oh, no, no, no. no. We're not overshooting. <laughs> this is so hard. It's not easy at all. Uh... All right, we're at 0.6. All right, come on, you can do it. 0.4, 400 kilogram. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 280, 280. There we go. 280. There you go. Come on, speed match. Now, very carefully setting this plane up. Only 200 kilos left. 200. Oh, no, it's right out of the field. God damn it. Oh, no, we're gliding now. We've turned into a glider. Well, this plane's not very helpful either, is it? Thank you very, very much. We're now left above the desert. I mean, there is a big airport down here that we're definitely going to be able to glide to. Yeah, but, yeah we've lost. Not the challenge. That's dead. All right, everybody, no problem. We can just glide. And after all, we can just land despite our refueling probe being there, ready to be used. I mean, in a second, it did work. We'll just go ahead and do a hard landing here. There you go, because I don't really care to. There you go, that's been good. So right, this concludes my comprehensive testing of using airliners for area refueling. It's like there's no reason to do this. This is absolutely dumb. I mean, in real life, this would have been um, a little bit more easy than what you just witnessed. I mean, in that KC video I did two weeks ago, we talked to a boom operator. So yes, there would be someone sitting there actually operating the boom. So yes, it would be easier for all this to work more seamlessly, by the way. This is just the hard method of using having an eye plane that just kind of... And, and we just want to catch the fuel off it. But this one a good demonstration aero refueling definitely is hard but there we go that worked pretty well so everybody thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow as always good night now thank you very much to my highly supporting members like jamie ashton mike c james deram ragings met rlg matt fan z moritz bellhausen knots enthusiast shadow new the york ryland williams kelly chaos john o'brien and i'm addicted to airbus a380s thank you